Fibonacci retracement levels. I wanted to make an updated video about this. I had a few people asking about uh, Fibonacci retracement, how to read these charts. The Fibonacci retracement tool helps traders reveal key levels where to place buy and sell orders. It's That's a pretty simple way to explain it. Uh, the ability to spot these crucial levels of support and resistance is important. So Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician. His system completely overtook the previously used Roman numeral system and improved business calculation capabilities, which led to an exponential growth of accounting and banking in the heart of Europe. So this ratio of numbers that he created was called the golden ratio. Initially, this was discovered between the years 500 BC and 432 BC. Why are these such a big deal in trading? So you can find a sequence in things like animal skin, DNA structure, spirals within a seashell, uh, petals on a flower. The number sequence produces a ratio of 61.8% and they refer to it as the golden ratio. So Fibonacci retracement levels commonly used in cryptocurrency trading, 38.2%, 50%, 61.8%, and 100%. The 50% level is not a Fibonacci retracement level, but it stems from Dow's theory, uh, basically stating that the averages often retrace half of their prior movement. There are psychological barriers that tend to repeatedly show up within the financial markets time and time again. They're called inflection points, where traders tend to anticipate a bounce or break off resistance or support. Another interesting aspect of Fibonacci levels are the fact that the more people use them, the more accurate they become. Uh, it tends to fall under the self-fulfilling prophecy paradigm. And a lot of this is why technical analysis works, I think. There's so many people that use it, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. The most important Fibonacci retracement level, as you might have guessed, is the 0 0.618, the golden mean level. This is a critical level where sellers tend to give up bargain hunting and a potential mass buying frenzy will ensue. How do you use the Fibonacci tool? So the Fibonacci retracement levels are made up of horizontal lines, which are used to highlight areas of expected support and resistance within crucial Fibonacci ratios. It's up to a trader's discretion to use the wicks or the candles when measuring the lowest and highest points. So now if we look at this chart, you can see they pulled the a Fib level on it You've got your 382, which what that means is, uh, so this is the low and this is the high. So if this retraces or pulls back 38%, that's going to be the 0.382 Fib level. Okay. What you're really looking for is the 0.5 and then the 618. All the bots, bots are primarily programmed to buy at this 618 level. That's why it works so well. Okay. So you can see the price came down here hit the 618 and bounced. They found support there. And again, came down here, hit the 618, bounced again. And even found some more support over here. So it's just a way to find support and resistance levels. If we go down to this chart and you can see they marked the bottom and they drug it to the top. This is a very popular tool among tactical traders. It identifies places where you can strategically place price targets stop losses. You'll find more times than not, the market tends to either struggle near these FIB levels or break through and utilize the old resistance level as a new support. It's always important to remember that previous resistance becomes future support. So right here in the chart, it was hard to break through right here. It was resistance and then here it acts as support. So previous resistance becomes future support. So this price bounced here and was resistance here. It's important to remember that Fibonacci levels are not completely accurate. You got to use common sense along with other indicators. Uh, just because you buy at a 0.236 level doesn't mean you're going to go back up to 100%. However, you got to take these levels into consideration. You'll have a higher percentage of w having more winning trades. It's recommended you utilize other tools alongside the Fibonacci retracement tool. A good beginner strategy to using Fib levels. Uh, it's really good at predicting a bounce if you have a big red candle. You can pick up 20 and 40% gains off these FIB levels sometimes. So at your major rally, all right, so you pull, uh, this is your top, this is your bottom, and then you can see it, it retraced and you hit your 618 again, and then it came up to the top. So you're going to buy at the 618 and then sell at the top. You know, sell here or sell here. Okay, so you're making this money 
real quick off this buy and sell. Final thoughts, just like anything we do, practice. Using these Fibonacci retracement levels as far as where to buy and sell in the next trading cycle definitely helps. But remember, they're points of interest. Uh, indicators like volume and momentum are extremely important to monitor in order to confirm the Fib levels, just like any type of support. This is Neblio. So how do we pull Fib level on this? So over here in your menu, you're going to have, it shows up as pitch part first over here. Okay, so we're going to go down to fib retracement right here. Pull your fib level out. I start from the bottom. You go up, and I, I'm going to use the candles at this point, and I'll just show you. So you could use the wick. You could go all the way up here and use the wick if you wanted to. But what I look for is I want these to see they're, they're lining up and they're working. So um, right here, you see you've got some support. You've got some resistance here. Uh, you've got some resistance here, and you've got support here. Uh, so I, I feel like this is probably a good fit. You're basically trying to uh, pick where everybody else is using it at. So it, it, whereas if you go up to the top, the wick, uh, then you can see it go, it's going through the candles. It doesn't really hit any support or resistance levels. Okay. And then you could potentially start all the way down here. I guess you can see some support right here. There's some resistance right here. When the price comes down, it's already pulled back. 23% when it's at the 236. Okay, you see 236 over here. All right, so you're looking for the 0.5. So when this price action comes down to the 0.5, it could easily bounce. If it goes to the 0.618, that's definitely a good chance of a bounce. That's a lot of bots are going to buy at the 618. So that's what it does. It gives you an idea on where to buy. These are support and resistance levels based on the distance of the move, the length of the move. So you're just going to use, you know, your low and then your high. All right. I had somebody in the group ask me about holo chain H O T. So we've got a falling wedge, 68% chance of a breakout, right? Uh, you pull your fib level. So go over here, go down to, instead of pitchfork, you want fib retracement. Now the start of this move is pretty clear. It starts here and and then I'm looking to see where I get most of my support at. I like this right here and I'll show you why. So if I stop here, I stop at the candle body close and I started here at the candle body close. Here's why. You see this line right here where you use all this support, 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 support. That lines up with the 0.5. Not only that, but that's where we got our break to the upside. Exactly the self-fulfilling prophecy came true. Now, are we going to see a breakout here? You're going to buy the breakout. Um, I did some calculations on the target and we could probably see about 10 Satoshis after you take, let's say side note here, let's say you got 15 Satoshis right here. Okay. If you're going to see 70% of this, and that's typically when you calculate this target an average is that you'll see about 70% of this target, right? So if you put the target over here, you'd see about 70% of this. But what I calculated is would be about 10, 10 and a half Satoshis. Okay, just to break it down for easy math. If we do retrace, there's a really good chance we're going to get a good bounce at the 618. It'll act as support. Again, golden ratio. Bots are, are basically programmed to buy at the 618, and it works really well. Is it perfect? No. And it's just another tool. You've got to use this volume. Uh, RSI, MACD, the more clues that you get from your indicators that show the same outcome and really back up your theory, the better and the better chance that you're going to make a profitable trade. So I just want to encourage everybody to check out Fibonacci retracement tool. I'll start working on this. And again, one more time, I'm down here. You're going to, you're going to choose wicks or candle body closes. Um, and again, I really kind of change it just to based on where it lines up with the chart. So if we were to use the wick here, see how this would, you, you, you wouldn't, this whole level would just be wasted. The 0.5, it just went back and forth. So that's not really a, a viable option, okay? So you bring it down to the candle body right here, this candle body, and then now you see this 50% all of a sudden makes sense. Across from deviations from uh, person to person with this, and it makes it a little bit tricky to use. And over time, it's just like anything else. The more you practice it, the better you get. Uh, appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys soon.